Hey, Teddy covers with a big game breakdown. The Minnesota Timberwolves and the Oklahoma City Thunder. The matchup of the number one seed and the number two seed currently in the Western Conference. And I've got a little angle for you that has cashed seven times in nine tries this year and cashed a whole bunch last year as well. That angle, Oklahoma City as a road underdog. As an underdog on any floor. OKC has been money. 7-2 ATS this season when catching points. But they're coming off one of those two losses. And I want to talk about a meaningful coach's quote. A lot of times I'm a... I'm I'm a handicapper that's going to spend some time thinking about what the coaches are saying, reading between the lines on some of the player quotes and the coaches' quotes. And when I see a quote like this from Mark Dagenau, uh, the Oklahoma City head coach, I'm interested. After the Thunder lost to Philadelphia on Saturday as one-and-a-half-point dogs. Quote, I just thought we didn't have our best punch in terms of our physical output, and mental. It certainly wasn't the best we could play. That hasn't been who we are to this point in the season. That, my friends, is a bet on quote. It really is. That's saying our next game, we can expect to bring it. Minnesota's played good ball all year. I have nothing but respect. And look, when we talk about the upside for the T-Wolves, the upside for the T-Wolves is championship level team. OKC's not there yet. But... When it comes to roles that I love, Minnesota slapping teams around. And there's a chance they could slap OKC around tonight because their defense has been so strong. They're the better of the two teams defensively. But (laughs) I can't say I love the spot for Minnesota. They played good ball of late. And I certainly like the matchups for OKC, especially with, again, you talk about key. I love the key role player who doesn't move the needle when it comes to points. But that's Jalen Williams for OKC. What's he, their third leading scorer, their fourth leading scorer? I don't know. Somewhere in that range. He's not their superstar. He's not SGA. He's not Holmgren. He's, oh, some other guy in OKC. Williams is huge for that team. He's been out the last three games. He comes back tonight. He's been updated to probable for tonight. So I'm assuming he's going to play tonight. And to me, that's a meaningful return from injury from a guy who can legitimately, he hasn't been out so long that it's going to affect rotation significantly. And he makes OKC better. He really does. Even against a team with a couple of bigs, uh, like Gobert uh, and Towns. And I I wouldn't be surprised if Holmgren has some success against that duo as well. Bottom line, when you see OKC catching points, that's the way I'm going to look in general. And tonight's game, not an exception to that rule. Give me the thunder plus the points. There's your big game breakdown, courtesy of wagertalk.com. Look, if you like this type of analysis, we're doing videos every day. NBA, NFL, college football, college hoops, NHL, they're doing videos. It's crazy how much content, free content, we're putting out every single day. If you haven't subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, there's more than 130 people, 130,000 people who have. Give it a shot today, uh, and you can get the ding every time. A new video gets posted in the sport that you're interested in. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the games and best of luck with all your wagers.